Good early evening, 5.07 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Friday, September 1st, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So Ripple's fired back here. They say the SEC does not meet requirements to even file an interlocutory appeal, and they say it should be rejected here. So let's get into the business. SEC hasn't met requirements to argue for an appeal, Ripple says. Ripple opposed the SEC motion to try and appeal a federal judge's ruling in its case against the crypto company from July. So Ripple pushed back against the SEC's attempt to appeal a court ruling in the regulatory's ongoing case against the crypto issuer on Friday. So there was a 24-page, I believe it was, official documents that are being released. I won't cover all 24 pages now, but I'm assuming in a live at some point here. We'll go over it all 24 pages because it's going to be interesting. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SC hasn't made enough of a case to warrant an appeals court intervention in the ongoing legal fight with Ripple. The crypto company argued in a new filing Friday, the SEC is seeking a federal judge's approval to appeal her ruling finding that Ripple's programmatic sales of XRP did not violate securities law. If Judge Annalisa Therese of the Southern District of New York <clears throat> signs off on the bid, the SEC will need to convince the Second Circuit Court of Appeals to take up the case and its to take up its case. In its filing Friday, Ripple argued that there are no controlling law questions and that an appeal wouldn't lead to a faster resolution of the overall case. So Stuart Alderodi says Ripple just filed the um, Ripple just filed its opposition to the SEC's request for an interlocutory appeal. Worth a read. What is this? Worth a read. I mean, honestly, especially the footnotes, so we'll go over that at a later time. James K. Phelan said, XRP community, Ripple files its opposition to the SEC's motion to certify an inaccurate appeal. Jury's ruling did not present a controlling question of law, and neither did the SEC's motion for an appeal. Ripple said in Friday's filing, which added that the regulator hasn't proven that different judges might disagree with the ruling, or that an appeal would lead to faster and for the court case, all of which are requirements for the judge to approve an appeal according to the filing. Judge Trask found in July that while Ripple violated federal securities laws in selling XRP to institutional investors, it had not done the same in making XRP available to retail investors by putting it on exchanges. A different judge in the same court, Judge Jed Brackoff, disagreed with Judge Trask's assessment and his own ruling in the SEC's case against Terraform Labs, a point the regulator brought up when it filed the substantive part of its appeal on August 18th. In Friday's appeal, Ripple said the factual basis underlying each case were different, leading to the different rulings. This court's summary judgment ruling rarely relied on record evidence that Ripple made no promises or offers to purchasers and programmable sales. The filing said Terraform, by contrast, accepted the SEC's allegations that Terraform and its founder promised all purchasers, those who bought directly from Terraform or from some other source, rates of returns of 19 to 20% on coin owners' initial investments. So the SEC has until September 8th to respond to today's time. Make sure you hit that like button to help push this through the analytics so that more people in the XRP community can see what's just transpired. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see future content.